So the Sermon Sunday that we had gave me a lot to think about because it came in the context of being just after a week of intense violence between police and the people that the police are supposed to be serving. Um, I was thinking uh, a lot about the sermon, which was about Psalm 23, which, as most of you guys know, is sort of the psalm that's about fear. Um, I'm going to be pulling up a version of that right now um, to sort of read to you, because, I mean, I had, of course, heard it before. I mean, if, if, if you're part of the culture, even if you're not Christian, you've probably heard some variant um, form of it. Um, um, let's go with the New Living Translation. Okay. Here's the psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me behind, beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along the right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. Honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord. This is a um, the sort of refrain here. It says, uh, you may have heard this version as, written as, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That sort of wording comes from the version, which is also, uh, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. You've probably heard that in various lyrics from various songs. It's, it's a very um, iconic uh, phrasing. And it's about fear. It's about sort of calming yourself through fear. And one of the things it talked about is how human the verses of this, this are. And it gave me a lot to reflect on because for myself, I really don't have a very good governor on my own sense of fear. Um, and I think that should be something I need to work on. I don't have a good governor on my anger either. I need to recognize that the Lord is my shepherd. You know, we've heard a lot about the police violence lately and the shooting in Dallas. I have a bad habit. I call cops pigs. Um, that's a personal vice of mine that I really need to work on. Um, it's not so much that people don't have a right to be angry. I believe that they do, especially the communities that were so thoroughly violated. Um, keep in mind, our Lord was killed by state violence himself. Um, but I feel that for me personally, I need to trust in God as my shepherd. And I need to be more measured with how I react to things. Because individual police officers, they're human too, and they're part of an institutionalized form of sin. They're part of an in, they're part of an institutionalized system. It's not just individual bad actors that are the problem. They are part of the problem, but it's the really the system that enables it. When you see officers who retaliate against the person who took that video of the uh, shooting. The temptation for me is to, you know, like, ah, oh, screw those pigs, you know, and but where that comes from is from a place of fear and from a place of anger and one that isn't focused and it isn't recognizing that the Lord is my shepherd. We definitely need reform for this system, but I should be taking advantage of my white privilege and calling my Congress people instead of like trying to be edgy and out anger or outrage the next person. Um, I can't make any promises that I'll change, but today's service has given me a lot to think about. And so that's why I'm going to be, that's what this video. 
this this whole video series is about my evolution. So I can't promise that I'll change, but maybe I can look back on this and maybe see this as a point on. However you feel about it, it's valid. Um, but just know, regardless, the Lord is our shepherd. God bless.